It can be really time consuming sometimes to set something up inside of your chatbot. Let's say that we are going with a restaurant setup and you want to display the available times inside the chatbot, right? So where people can make a reservation on booking. Normally you would go with a text message as you see right here. And then you would go into the quick replies, for example, and say something like 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. And then you will go with another quick reply and go with 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. And basically, and so on and so on, up till 10 quick replies, because that is the maximum limit inside of a messenger bot, for example. But this is the way that you normally set it up. And this is really time consuming because even though you set the flow up, if one of the time intervals is fully booked, then you need to remove that option, publish the flow again, and then you will need to keep monitoring the flow and the available times as well. So instead of doing this, there is also a new way implemented inside of UChat recently. It is called the dynamic reply. And you can find it to the right of the quick reply. So what this does, basically is you are going to select a JSON custom field. And again, this might sound very developer-like, but it is really easy, so trust me. And instead of giving every single available time option inside the responses yourself, you're only going to set this up once, and then you never have to look at it again. So how does this work? First of all, I have integrated this with a Google Sheet. Really simple Google Sheet, but you can, of course, expand this to your own liking. But if we take a look, as you can see, I have this Google Sheet. It's really, really basic, again, but you can fully customize this for a restaurant or for a hair salon or something like this. But the two columns that I need are basically the seats available column and the time column, so the time interval column. So what this does is I'm able to set up the seats available to yes or no and then i will be able to set up the times so what this does is and this is from my previous test so let me just set it all to yes so what i'm going to do now is before going towards this um towards this display of available times i'm now going to set up an action block inside of this action block i'm going to search for an integration for Google Sheets. And I'm going to go with the action, get multiple rows. I'm going to select my spreadsheet. I'm going to select my worksheet. And I'm also going to apply a filter because I only want to display the available time zones, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a condition. I'm going to choose a field from the Google Sheet. In this case, it will be seats available. And this must be set to yes. What this does is if we take a look at the sheet, it should fetch all the available times where the seats available has been set to yes. So let's try this out. I'm going to save this. And I'm going to save the match rows into a custom field. I will just use the field sample. We can also preview the matched rows. So if we do this, you will see that it does indeed fetch all the available time zones. Everything has been set to yes, and we get the available times. So if we are going to implement this inside of this setup, we are first going to rename this block, this action block, because it's easier to remember. I'm going to connect this action block with this text block. And now I'm going to delete these quick replies. We no longer need them. And now instead we're going with the dynamic reply. In this dynamic reply, we're going to select our JSON custom field that we selected in the Google Sheet to store all the available times. So in this case, it's sample. And in the title, we're going with a for each item. And now we need to select our sample data. So if we take a look here in the dropdown, we have the action block with get time, right? Because we renamed it, especially to be able to identify it much and much easier. So we're going with the get time. And then you will see that we have the seats available. We have the time and the row index. Now, the one thing that we want to display are the times. 
So we are going to select the time. We can also format the value if you like to, but I will just leave it as it is because we formatted it inside the Google Sheet. Once done, we are going to press save. You can also enter a value here. So it could be the same value. So let's do that as well. Let's say we're going with the get time and we're going with the time setup. I also tested this without the value and it worked fine, but always be sure to test it. So let's go with save. And now let's preview this. So let's head over to messenger. And from here, now that we set up this part, let's preview the steps that we just created. So let's go to UJet, let's preview from the Google Sheets, and let's see if we get all available time zones. So if we take a look, we should get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different kinds of time zones, of time intervals. So let's preview this. Let's go over to Messenger. And indeed, you will see that we have all available time slots, right? So what happens if a time slot is no longer available? Well, that's really easy to do because you only have to go to the Google Sheets. Let's say we're going with a 3 p.m., 4 p.m. to be fully booked. And we're going to set this to no. So what this means is if we're going to preview these two steps that we just set up, it should skip to 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. So it should go from 2 p.m., 3 p.m. over to 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. So let's take a look if it works. Let's preview again. And here we go. So we have 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. And indeed, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. is now being removed from the available time slots because we just set this seats available, this filter to no. So if we do this for a few more time slots, let's say we're going with this one, and we're also going with this one. This means that we now only have one, two, three, four available time slots. So let's take a look if that works. And here we go. We have 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., 2 p.m. to 3 p.m., 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., and 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. So how cool is this that you are now able to display all available time slots in this case? but you can use it for any number of variations and options inside your chatbot. But in this case, it is time slots. You can now show it dynamically. So you can have a Google Sheet, let your client manage the bookings that way, or you can let the chatbot handle the bookings. And when a time slot has been fully booked, you can let the chatbot set it to no, or you let your client set it to no, and then it will only show the available bookings. This way you never have to touch the flow that you set up because it always displays the correct time available slots, right? And you'll be able to do this dynamically between the chatbot and the integration with Google Sheets. So if you like this video, please consider dropping a like because it will help me out reach more people and try to help them grow their business with implementing these kinds of setups. If you want to get notified yourself when a new video comes out, press the subscribe button and the bell notification to the right of it, because this will allow me to notify you soon as a new video like this is coming out. Have a great day, take care, and I will talk to you in the next video.